obviously, okay, this is uh, Richard Dean, known as Dick Dean, around here in Amesville, okay. who is a, a regional historian here, okay. and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Coonskin Library. Well, I'm dressed as Ephraim Cutler, who was the first librarian. The library was formed in, um, or was proposed in 1802 by Josiah True at a road maintenance meeting. And over, they proposed to, to sell pelts, um, and they ended up with enough pelts to take them east uh, with, um, and they sold them $73.50 and bought 51 books and brought them back. Uh, over time, those books went to uh, this collection, which ended up being being donated um, by Sarah Cutler, who was the last owner. Uh, and they're now at the Ohio State Museum. What is this here? This is uh, we are in a building that was used to be a school. So the building that houses this museum was this school. Okay. And uh, over here is a, a book listing of the books that, that were checked out. And it, this, these, are the, these are the entries in 1861 that closed the library out. Okay. Interestingly enough, it was in the possession of your great 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 grandfather, Nathan William D. Okay. Who uh, built Sar the Sargenti Smalling. Air uh, Does this have anything to do with the book? I'm not sure what that is. That's a listing of titles, I believe. Okay. And this is another picture of the this is this building. building we're at here. This is where, this is Cutler's home. The first library was housed for the first year or two in this end of his house, where he also had a school. Who are these individuals? Are, they are paintings by Bob Henry, who's now deceased, of the various people who were influential in forming the library. This is Ephraim Cutler's picture. This is Thomas Ewing. Uh, the, the person missing is Josiah True, who actually proposed the concept, but nobody could ever find a picture of it. Okay, and here's a coon skin. This is what they actually collected and took to Boston, is that right? They took them to Boston, and uh, uh, Samuel Brown took them there. He was going to go back and bring his family back. And so he uh, ended up uh, buying books uh, under the advice of Manasseh Cutler and Thaddeus Harris. Now these aren't the these are books. not actual books. They are meant to be period books that were published about that time. The actual books that we have had here on occasion came from Columbus, but they will not give us any permanent books until we can make some kind of climate moisture control environment to house them. Right. This is the Ohio State Collection. Over here, uh, this is the route by which the settlers came to Ames in the first place in about 18, well, they came to Marietta first. And then they actually came into the Amesville area uh, in uh, 1796. So they went, would go north to come down the river yeah, they, River they, to they, they went to Waterford. They, yeah, this, this is the Ohio River. Yeah. And then they came to Waterford. Oh, they actually And then they cut the across here. to Ames. Okay. I always use that picture to try and show And this is Ewing Rock, uh, which is on place place a property up really Linscott Run. And theoretically, this is where a young Thomas the Ewing would go up and practice it would stand doing oratory, and this was his pulpit. That's, That's his pulpit? Really yes. You know, they say, well, and so several of us are going to go actually yeah. find the thing I mean, one of these days. This, we believe, is the original Dean home, you which know, is behind the, the Smalling Sargenti home, which was, was torn down home. when Sargenti's yeah, home was first. Okay, I have video of that house. So anyway, we believe that's a painting of that structure. Who painted it? I don't know. You, who found it? <laughs> It was somebody put it up here. Are these people here? <laughs> I have no idea who put it there. You know, it's kind of hard to get it. And those are the Brawleys. Those, those are the people who bought the the books in 1861, the collection. Okay. And then this log this, home. We believe we were talking today that we think Loder Lampeller just uh, probably cut this. He yeah. Was a local, yep. A local, his, a local He's artist. deceased now, but yes, this is his his artwork looked like this. And this is this kind of a representation of the homes of the of the time. Probably yes. Log, log structure with the 
real stuff. Chicken made out of uh, probably been the mud at the time, but I think this is probably concrete. You signed the book, signed in, and let us know you were here. I will. So anyway, that's the Kunskin Library in a nutshell. Uh, museum. Okay. <laughs> so. You know, when I tell 